Oh, I just want to make a quick little video here. I uh, just picked up myself a new motorcycle. Um, that's not new, but new to me. It's an 87 Brago 700, a uh, XV 700. And um, I saw it advertised for a couple weeks and the guy said there was an intermittent problem with it where um, he said when the headlight wouldn't come on, when you turn the key, it wouldn't start. Um, and then sometimes you turn the key and the headlight would come on and the thing would start and run. Um, he'd owned it for a little over a year, um, and he said he had it to the dealer trying to find out the problem with it, and the, when he took it, it was running, so they said they couldn't find the problem. Well, it had sat for about a month or so, not running, and then he decided to sell it. Uh, so I gave him a call, and uh, he made me a really, really good deal on it, um, practically gave it away, but... Um, I just was interested in find out exactly what was wrong with it. So brought it home. And sure enough, when you turn the key on, you'd have the tail light and the parking lights up front, and that's it. Nothing else. Horn wouldn't work. Turn signals, nothing. Uh, of course, it wouldn't start. Headlight wouldn't come on. You would just have, like I said, the uh, tail light and the front parking lights. Well, um, of course, I... Uh, I cleaned the uh, battery terminals in the ground and that kind of stuff just to make sure, you know, before I even started working on it, just to eliminate that. And of course, that didn't take care of it. Um, so, uh, and I uh, checked and I only had power on, you know, obviously the uh, tail light fuse and everything else that uh, has four fuses and only one had power to it. So, what I did is I got um, a schematic. And it's not a color schematic, but schematic nonetheless. And what I did, the way I figured this out, is I took a highlighter and I traced the power from the battery all the way to the switch and then to the fuses. And I wanted to see what the pathway was, working with the battery through the main fuse up to the ignition switch, then it goes over to the fuse block. All right. Um, there's one power wire that goes into the switch and then two power wires come out. That's it. And the switch is just an on off switch. Okay. So one power wire in and two power wires out. The one power wire goes to the tail light and the other power wire goes over and it's jumpered between the ignition, the headlight and what else? The signal, the start in the um, ignition. So since I had the, um, the tail light, then obviously that power wire was connected, but was, somehow I was losing power on the other one. So I just started tracing it and um, I started at the ignition switch and inside the headlight bucket is a connector. So um, I had the key on while I was doing this and wiggling wires. And when I wiggled that connector, the headlight came on. So I unplugged that and I'll show you what I found. This comes directly from the ignition switch up here. And this is the connector. Hopefully you can see that. That one wire obviously got hot. It's hard to tell in there, but it got hot. It was all, all corroded and stuff kind of causing resistance, and you know, then it just lost connection because it was just so corroded. I wiggled it, and, it, and you know, it worked, and things starts and runs and that kind of stuff, so um, I'm just going to have to um, take care of this, you know, put a new connector on it or whatever, but I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. I'll, I'll fill it full of dielectric grease um, I figured out I, probably what the issue was is I figured out this guy left this thing sit outside. Uh, he didn't cover it or anything. It just sat out in the rain. We're in South Carolina, you know, and it's been raining quite a bit. Um, and he's had it for a little over a year. And just, you know, um, sorry, these things aren't waterproof. And, um, I'm going to have to check all the other connections and stuff since it sat outside. Hopefully I won't run any, any issues. But... Be that as it may, I found the problem and just clean up the connection, you know, and either replace it, whatever I got to do to make it right so it won't give me more trouble. 
Um, but if anybody ever, I'm not, I doubt seriously if anybody's going to run across that exact problem. Um, but uh, I just kind of wanted to share with you how I figured out where my problem was. And with anything electrical, you know, figure out, you know, what you have, what you don't have, and just start, you know, tracing it until you find out where you're losing your power at, or if you're losing power, if you're losing ground, whatever. You just, um, it helps if you have a schematic. Um, and, and I would suggest do what I did, take a uh, highlighter and trace the pathway of the circuit that you're working on. It makes a lot, and for me at least, it makes it a lot easier to see. So for what it's worth, I hope that helps um, if you have any electrical problems with, with anything. Um, isolate uh, the circuit you have the problem on and just start tracing it. You know, find out where you're, you know, where you're losing your power at and you should be able to isolate the problem. So um, best of luck and um, I'll see you in the next video.